today we're going to lift some Cliplock 700 sheets. Not an easy task, a lot of people just refuse to do it, it's all too hard, but uh, I can assure you it can be done. Let's have a crack. Step one, take care of yourself. Make sure you use sunscreen. This is Cliplock 700. I call it 700 because it was manufactured clip lock and it's 700 millimeters wide. There's also a uh, clip lock 406 which is 406 millimeters wide. But um, we're just going to show you how to lift it. Now, this particular installation, there's nothing underneath it, uh, so it would be easy to um, just access from underneath but I wanted to demonstrate how to lift this sheet because quite often you need to get beneath this and it'll be a gyp rock lining the only way to get access to the roof space is by lifting the sheet so that's what we're going to do here <sighs> These sheets, as you can see, are very tight in here. Uh, one sheet is clipped over the top of the other one. Turns out that um, you can't get your fingers in there. You can't lift it with a podgy bar. You can't lift it with a hammer. The only way to get this stuff up, really, is to get in right on the end of the sheet. Prize it out a little bit actually hold it with your fingers most of the time. Once you've opened that gap up, you can then get something underneath it. Try and protect the sheet with uh, a bit of timber and start to lift. Once, once you lift it a little bit, you can usually get your fingers under there. And just Pull it back and that'll snap up. Now, this one, I think it already had a kink in it from last time I lifted it. Sometimes, sometimes you can get a little bit of kink in here. It won't affect the effectiveness of the sheet. It just doesn't look pretty. So what we can do is just roll this back. Best to use your fingers, open it up a little bit get in underneath and that really doesn't want to lift. There it is. There we go. We'll just continue lifting along. Just follow this along. Things aren't going as intended. <laughs> I didn't say it was easy. To, uh, I'm not going to lift all the way to the end on this sheet because there's something in the way and I don't want to disturb it but you get the idea we can just continue to lift these sheets now to 
go even further, you would think that you don't want to be standing on the sheet that you're lifting. But in this particular case, you do want to be standing on the sheet that you're lifting because as you roll the sheet back, it will unclip. And the more you roll it back, the more it unclips. If you try and lift it from the other side, you're closing up these gaps. So to avoid closing up those gaps, we just roll the sheet back and we can get access underneath. Don't try and twist it too much, you'll put another kink in it. But you can see these clips, when this roof is installed, the clips go down first. They're paced out, one clip goes under the next. You can just slide that sheet underneath after the clip is down. And then one, sh one sheet goes on top of the next. So when it comes to uh, reinstalling this, we're just going to uh, push it back down and stand on it. Like that. And all we need to do is stand on the points where the clips are. Mr. Point. So that's how we lift and replace Cliplock 700.